Hey and welcome to another GC Mysteries video. This time we are going to be talking child and baby killer Beverly Gale Allett. Beverly Gale Allett was born on 12th of October 1968 and is an English serial child and baby killer who was convicted of murdering four children, attempting to murder three other children and causing grievous bodily harm to a further six. The crimes that she committed were committed over a period of 59 days from February to April of 1991 and were committed in the children's ward at Grantham and Castile Hospital in Lincolnshire where at the time Alex was employed as a state enrolled nurse. She is supposed to have administered large doses of insulin to at least two, not more, of her victims. I'll just name a couple of the children that died and then a couple of the children that recovered. So the first to have died was Leon Taylor, who was at that time seven weeks old and was admitted to the children's ward for a chest infection. He was murdered on the 22nd of February 1991. Another that died was Beck Phillips, who was two months old at the time and she was admitted to the ward for gastroenteritis on the 1st of April 1991. She was one of the ones that was added a insulin overdose by Beverly Allett, but at home two days later. Now Becky's was originally believed to have been cop death, which is a sudden unexplained death of a child of less than one year of age. Diagnosis requires that the death remain unexplained after a thorough autopsy and detailed death scene investigation. Meaning that not only did best parents have to get through the death of their two-year-old daughter, but their home was also a crime scene because, of course, she could have been murdered by her parents and that had to be ruled out by the police. Two of the children that recovered were Kayla Desmond, who was at that time a year old. She was admitted to the children's ward for a chest infection as well. And Beverly Allett attempted to murder her on the 8th of March 1991, but was resuscitated and transferred to another hospital where she recovered. It's fair to say that if she hadn't have been transferred to another hospital when she was, she would have probably died because I've no doubt that Beverly Allett tried to kill her again. Now another of the children that recovered was actually Becky Phillips' twin, Katie Phillips, who was at that time two months old again and she was only admitted to the children's ward as a precaution following the death of Becky. She had to be resuscitated twice after unexplained apnoic episodes. They were later found to be caused by insulin and potassium overdoses and for the second time that she stopped breathing, she was transferred to another hospital. But sadly, by this time, she had suffered not only brain damage, but partial paralysis and partial blindness due to the oxygen deprivation that she suffered. Now, to add an insult to injury, her parents <clears throat> had been so grateful for Beverly's care of Becky that they asked 
her to be Katie Phillips' godmother. Now in 1999, Katie was awarded £2.125 million by the Link Health Authority to pay for the treatment and for the rest of Katie's life. However, Lincolnshire Health Authority did not accept liability, but did acknowledge that Katie was entitled to compensation. Which begs the question, they did not accept liability for what happened to Katie. Why did they pay out over £2 million to her parents? It's a good question, but one that will never be answered. Now, for her crimes, Bullet Allett received 13 life sentences for four counts of murder, five counts of attempted murder, and six counts of grievous bodily harm. Now, she entered pleas of not guilty but was found guilty of all the crimes anyway. Whilst sentencing her, Mr Justice Latham told Beverly Allett that she was a serious danger to others and was likely to ever be considered safe enough to be now, you would think that having did the crimes that she had, she would be in prison. But, according to what I can find, she is currently detained at Rampton Secure Hospital in Nottinghamshire. Which, I wouldn't be happy with, uh, I'm not sure what else would be. Now, Beverly Allett's motive attention due to factitious disorder imposed on another, which is also known as Nelson Syndrome by proxy and is a condition which a caregiver creates the appearance of health problems in a person. Although this is typically their own child, not somebody else's. Now, it received a lot of hate, not just for the shocking crimes that she committed, but because she basically blamed Munchausen syndrome proxy. Now, her judge that, that sentenced her said she would be unlikely to ever be considered safe enough to re be released, but on the 6th of December, 2007, Mr Justice Stanley Burnton, in the High Court of Justice in London, confirmed that I must serve the original minimum sentence of 30 years, meaning that she would be let out once she has served 30 years of her sentence. Now, some of Beverly's uh, victims' families had previously believed that her minimum time had been set at 40 years. However, if I'd have judged, I would have set her minimum tariff at life until she died. And her motives have never been fully explained. Although, according to one theory, she showed symptoms of factory disorder or Munchausen syndrome. Now, if you'd like to learn more about Beverly Allett, 
You can search her on Google, YouTube and Wikipedia and more. But for now, I'd like to thank you for watching the video. Thank you for watching this video. If you've got any back that we can use constructively, please leave it in the comments below. If you did, please like the video, subscribe and click the notification bell. Follow us on Twitter at GC Mysteries. And again, we'd like to thank you for watching. Bye bye.